So once you've installed the Filmmaker VFX Suite inside your effects folder, either in Final Cut Pro or in Motion, you can now go inside Final Cut Pro and over into your effects category in the right hand side here, you're going to see a whole bunch of different uh, film effects. Now you have your basic 8mm, 16, 35mm grains, and these are authentic film grains. And each of these drag and drop effects have a whole bunch of different features. You can drag and drop these effects on each shot, or you could highlight a whole array of shots. In this case, I'm just using two shots, so I can highlight both of my shots, right click, and select new compound clip. So for now, I'm just going to drag and drop my 8 millimeter grain onto one of my shots. And when I drag and drop, you're going to see over in the right hand side in your effects control panel, a whole bunch of different levers and features uh, for this specific 8 millimeter grain. Now you have the opacity of the grain, your scale, you can add additional grain. We have uh, some flicker values here, some saturation values. And you can see if I play here, I'm starting to get a nice, really authentic film look. And mess around with a little bit of gate shakes and jitter shakes. You know, somebody like me, I started in film, so I'm really picky when I see a film look. So you're going to see film damage, film flickers. Uh, in this case, I'm actually going to grab one of my favorites, which is the fine scratch and dirt. Now this is very subtle. Uh, you can just see a nice little hint of imperfections, what I like to call them. Again, it's a more subtle scratch and dirt, and you're also going to have uh, another effect in there, which is more heavy damage type of film effect. Now another nice drag and drop effect here is the vintage home movie look. So if I grab that, drag and drop, you're always going to start with a certain look and you can adjust that, change that as you go. And again, over in the right hand side, you're going to see my uh, vintage home movie control board. And again, these are for the most part going to have a much more damaging type of design. And you can scale down your video here and once you start to see a crop out, you're going to want to go into the projector you've chosen, scale that down as well. And we have our defocusing values, our flicker value, saturation, and just messing around with the gate shakes. And many of these drag and drop effects are going to have uh, similar effects to it, such as the gate shakes and jitter shakes. Now you can also start to add your own color to it. So if you were going to take something, let's say from LUTmaster, if I were to drag and drop it, you can see that if I, if I stack it above my effect, it's going to change the entire frame. So you want to probably drag your LUT or your color value above the effect. Then that way it's going to color within the frame. Now, one of my other favorite effects here is the Technicolor Engine. Again, I'm a huge fan of the uh, 50s and 60s cinema. And scrolling down, you're going to see a wide array of film burns. So again, you can drag and drop these film burns onto your shot. And you're going to see your shot react to the burn. So now we also have inside uh, our film pack, our film generators. Just a little bit different process, very simple. I'm gonna grab a grain generator, drag and drop it above my shots, and I can just pull the edges here and just cover my entire timeline. Now what you wanna do is highlight your grain shot. Now up top here in the right hand corner, you're going to see our icon for our generator inspector. Well, first what we want to do is shut the logo off. So what I like to do is go back into our video inspector here, and we're just going to hit that little film strip icon. And we just want to change the compositing mode, in this case to overlay. 
and we're gonna go back to our generator tab and now we can start to play with all the features so in the case of generators you're gonna be able to cover your uh, entire timeline if need be so I just want to give you the options and I hope you enjoy <music>